Right, a hot air balloon rises at a rate of 3 feet per second. An observer 60 feet away watches the balloon rise. How fast is the angle of elevation changing in radians per second when the balloon is 45 feet off the ground? It's a lot of information in there, and we can kind of go through it and um, start digesting it a little bit. Take a look at all of our numbers, like this 3 feet per second. It says that the hot air balloon rises at that rate, so going up. It must be talking about this H, since it's a rate of change. That's the change in H with respect to time. Since it's going up, that means it'll be positive, and its value would be 3 feet per second. As we continue through, an observer is 60 feet away. Well, that's already in my picture. And that value is staying the same. The observer isn't moving, so that value stays constant but they watch the balloon rise. How fast is the angle of elevation changing? So the angle of elevation is theta, and that's what we want to find out is how fast theta is changing with respect to time, and that's what we don't know. We know what the units will be in radians per second, but we want to find that when the balloon is 45 feet off the ground. All right, so that's all of the information. And when I look at that triangle, and I try and relate an angle with the opposite side and the adjacent side, to me, that sounds like tangent. That the tangent of theta is h over 60. Obviously, we want to find rates of change, so we have to find derivatives of everything. So derivative of tangent is secant squared theta d theta dt. And the derivative of h over 60 would be just 1 over 60 dh dt. And we could start filling some things in, um, or at least rearranging. How about we rearrange things first? I want to find how fast the angle of elevation is changing. That's the part that we didn't know. So I'm going to get that one alone over here, d theta dt. That will equal 1 over 60 times dh dt times 1 over secant squared. Well, the reciprocal of secant is cosine. So we'll find cosine squared of theta. Now we're asked to find how fast the angle of elevation is changing uh, when the balloon is 45, so when h is 45. So going back to our picture, that means now we want to see what is going to happen when h is specifically 45. We can do a little Pythagorean theorem to find out uh, the length of the hypotenuse, and that'll be the square root of the 60 squared plus 45 squared. And with a little bit of calculator work there, we'll find out real quickly that this is 75. And we have all the information we need to find d theta dt and just plug in some values. We'll start with the 1 over 60, and we know that dh dt is given right here as being 3 and we'll have the cosine squared. We've just seen that the cosine being adjacent over hypotenuse will be 60 over 75. And let's just do a little bit of algebra. I'm really going to expand things real, real quick because uh, 60 squared is going to be 60 times 60. Then in the denominator, we'll have 60 and 75 squared, which will be 75 times 75. Uh, we'll do a little bit of canceling. The 60 will cancel with one of these. And the 3 can cancel with one of these 75s and leave us with 25, uh, 60. That has a 5 in it. 5 times 12, and this will be 5 times 5. 12's got a 3 in it. Leaves us with 4 and another 25. Wow. Okay, so there we got a 4, and we got a 5, and there we got a 5. So this whole thing will simplify to 4 over 125. And then we're finding the rate of change and the angle of elevation in radians per second. So that's my units, radians per second. Of course, if you wanted to find the decimal of that, it would be 0 0.032.